Together, winners and losers spent a total of more than $2 million for their campaigns in New Hampshire, about $8 for every one of the 250,000 persons who voted here today. Bob Schieffer tells us about those campaigns. When they strike up the band in New Hampshire, the candidates step to the beat. New Hampshire is no longer the first primary, that's now Puerto Rico, and it's no longer the year's first big political event, that's now the Iowa caucuses. But no matter, this carefully orchestrated event is still considered so important by the politicians that they again spend enough here to make this one of the state's most important industries. Among the Republicans, only John Conley didn't make a major effort here. He's pinning his hopes now on next month's Southern primary. Front runners Ronald Reagan and George Bush mounted huge efforts here. Reagan abandoned his above the battle strategy after losing in Iowa, campaigned 20 days here, and spent the limit allowed by the Federal Election Commission, $294,400. Bush also spent the limit and devoted more time to the state than anyone else, 54 days. And frankly, the guy that gets hurt the most by inflation is a person that has a job. He ran a strong media campaign, but it was coupled with strong grassroots organization. Here, as in Iowa, Howard Baker started late, and his staff was still shaking down this week. But he was here 36 days and hoped with a heavy advertising campaign to close in on the front two. John Anderson depended heavily on college volunteers, spent 52 days in the state, and though his campaign is poorly financed, did manage to raise $250,000, most of it for advertising. Anderson for president. Think about the Anderson difference. Phil Crane was here 50 days, also spent the limit. Bob Dole wouldn't say what he spent, was here 35 days. Looks like you got a belly phone. I wonder if that's Jimmy Carter calling you there. It's Jimmy Carter? Is this Jimmy Carter? I'll talk to you. I'll talk. Jimmy, come on up here. On the Democratic side, that little scene summed it up. The president and Senator Kennedy both had good organization here, both spent the limit, both had plenty of friends and relatives to help them. There, the similarity ended. The senator campaigned in person a lot, the president not at all. The third Democrat, Brown of California, was here 35 days and was out in the cold a lot. Victory goes to the strong, <laughs> not to shivering. <laughs> Come on. Thank you, Governor.